Yo, it's actually working. The phone is spinning so fast. The new bot is actually working. This is epic. Bro, it's been seven hours and they added bombs. So now I turned down my manual override and I'm controlling it. I gained a life somehow. There was nothing spawned on top of me. I didn't even move. I, I just lost life. Okay, now that sounds like a challenge. I'm gonna make a robot that destroys Mr. Beast's finger on the app. Now for the five people who don't know what Mr. Beast's finger on the app is, you basically have to keep your finger on the app. Wow, flawless naming scheme. And you basically have to click on these circle thingies just to prove you're a human. But here's the catch. The winner gets $100,000. All right, so I guess you keep your finger on the app for maybe two or three hours and then you can win, right? No, you're stupid. That's a poo-poo suggestion. No. Previous winner spent 70 hours straight on this app. 70 hours. That is three days of no anime. How do you do that? How do you survive? I don't know. I can't do that. Okay, even though robots are better than us at literally anything, when World War 3 happens with us versus the robots, I will die alongside my fellow humans. Even though I need $100,000 for college tuition and stuff, I want a human to win finger on the app. Therefore, if my robot gets close to winning, I will shut it down. A human will win finger on the app. I am horrible at engineering. That's why all of my videos are software based. AI video, AI video, Pi video. Those are all code, that's easy. So I could build this in two or three weeks, but I have four days to build a working bot. I have an idea and it's honestly pretty stupid, but it's like 900 IQ. It's pretty big brain if it works. Hi, I'm Tarun Jobs. Gates. The second, and we're proud to announce our new innovation in robotic cheating technology. Introducing the Mr. Beast, please don't ban me 5000. Now you have these mobile phones and computers with jillions of tiny little parts. But as our founder Steve Jobs once said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. All right, so the design isn't super complex. We have uh, super good the components, uh, Lego right here a stylus and a motor. So the phone will be on here, the motor will spin, so the phone will spin around in a circle, and the stylus will basically draw a circle around the phone. You might be asking, oh, why do I use cardboard? Why didn't I 3D print something again? Well, it's obvious, because unlike me, cardboard isn't always empty in the inside. All right, so I have the phone uh, hooked up to this uh, contraption thing. And if you can see, if it spins, right, it basically draws a perfect circle. Yes, the handwriting can be, you know, slightly improved and yes, I have to remove some super glue strands, but other than that, it's basically good to go. And if I just make the circle bigger by just changing, uh, changing with this, this position, we can get a pretty good uh, circle out of it. Okay, so this wasn't my first idea, but I eventually came around to it. Get it like around, like a circle. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fake sorry. I'm gonna hook it up to a practice game. Hopefully that works. And oh, so it's basically going like full speed. Oh my god. Okay, so it seems to be working well. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did it actually win? Okay, so now there are a few tiny, tiny issues with this implementation. Well, first, the idea is complete garbage. Poop is trash. And that's because of one major reason. When the phone is spinning, it spins so fast that the stylus every once in a while loses contact with the phone. And if it loses contact with the phone, we lose. And that's a slight, slight, pretty big deal breaker, let's be honest. Now this could probably be fixed, but it sounds like a lot of work. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrap this and try something else. I was basically thinking about it and I'm a programmer. So why am I doing engineering stuff? It doesn't make sense. Let me do what I'm good at. So what if I control my phone through my computer? So everything is software based. And that should be really efficient because there is no actual stylus anymore. It's all code. And because it's code, I can do that. I can code. I'm pretty good at coding. This is pretty cool. I take my phone cable hooked up to my computer and it's connected. Now it's connected. I have to give it access. So hit start now. And now on my computer, I can access my phone. So this right here, this is my phone. I can open an app. Let's say I want to open this app right here. And you can see my beautiful artwork and I can draw. And my phone thinks that I am using its touch screen to draw, but I'm using my mouse and it doesn't know that. So I'm gonna have Mr. Beast's finger on the app right here. I'm gonna use my mouse to move around the screen. That's the whole idea. 
So first we have to figure out how do I move my mouse with code? I have my pretty big mouse pointer right here. And in my code, I'm just saying, hey, move my mouse to 790, 380. So this is the X and this is the Y position. Now, if I run my code, you can see, whoop, it teleports over there. Okay, this is one line of code and it totally didn't take me 30 minutes to do this. Uh, pain. <laughs> Okay, now this is actually pretty sick. So I have right here uh, four sets of coordinates. And first the mouse moves here, then it moves here, then it moves here, then it moves here. But if you remember in our previous uh, example, the mouse instantly teleported over. And that's kind of sus. So right here I have duration. So it takes 0 0.5 seconds to get to the destination. So here, let me run the code. It's so cool. You can see the mouse moving over and whoa, it's straight up moving. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I have my phone hooked up to my computer. Here's my code. And I replaced the move to to drag to. And this time it moves the mouse, but it clicks on it while moving. So if I run my code, you can see it moves the mouse and it clicks while dragging. So it draws the perfect rectangle. Now you might be like, all right, cool. Let's make a few uh, hicky dicky modifications and ship it off the finger on the app. But no, you're stupid. There is a slight teeny teeny problem. Whenever it makes a turn right here, it lets go of the mouse for a millisecond. And on finger on the app, if you let go of the app, you lose. So we need to find a way to not make it let go. Okay, so the problem right now is that whenever the bot makes a sharp turn, it lets go of the mouse for a millisecond. And when we're playing finger on the app, we never want the mouse to be let go. Because if you let go of the mouse, you let go of the screen and then you lose. Big oof. But if you think about it, there is no reason for us to let go of the mouse when we're doing finger on the app. It should always be clicked. So instead of having the program decide, hey, I want to click now or I don't want to click now, how about we just make it so the mouse is always clicked? So there are two ways to make the mouse always clicked. The first way is kind of caveman brain, but you just take a hard object like this dude right here, you just whack him on the mouse, and now the mouse is always clicked. But let's be honest, that's kind of stupid. We don't want this always on. So an easier way of doing it is if we go to the control panel on our computer, we can just make it so the mouse is always clicked. And now that the mouse is always clicked, all the program has to do is move the cursor around. Alright, so here's the code, and I added a few minor modifications. First, I changed the drag to back to move to, because we only want the bot to move the cursor. Next, I added a sleep right here, and that basically means if I run the code, it takes 3 seconds before anything happens. So you can see, 3 seconds, and now, it's drawing a nice rectangle. And if you can see, the turns are nice and smooth. While here, they're hard. So this is perfect. Okay, so all the code we just did, that is the building block for the mouse movement stuff. And now that the mouse movement stuff is done, we can start worrying about the actual bot. Easiest way to make the bot is to just have it hit every single spot on the screen. And the screen isn't actually that big. So to hit every single spot is pretty straightforward. But there is a slight caveat. Each blob that shows up, right? We have to hit that blob in five seconds. And it's not possible to hit every single spot on the screen within five seconds. But if you think about it, we don't have to hit every single spot on the board. Our playing character is a two by two. Each of those blobs is a three by three. If you do the math correctly, these are all the spots you have to actually move. That I made my bot move to all those spots within five seconds. If you think about it, this isn't human behavior. It's not possible for a human to move to all those same spots in the same exact pattern every single 5 seconds. So what I did is I added a bit of randomness. It can hit slightly above, it can hit slightly below, and this basically makes it look more human. So I did all my coding on my personal computer uh, back over there. And here's the problem with that. This contest is gonna last like 2 or 3 days, so my computer will be running straight for 2 or 3 days. And while my computer runs, I can't be using the computer to do my own stuff, which means I can't watch anime for two or three days and that's gonna kill me. So I need to find a sacrificial computer which I can use to run the contest. And uh, there it is right there. I have my uh, phone all hooked up, my computer, and I'm gonna quickly just run the Python code and it should be able to automate everything. So run, run module, the code is on. Uh, let me go here, battle on cookies. And you can see it's literally moving by itself. And I'm not touching anything, it's just doing it by itself. And just to prove that it's real, I can move my cursor around and messes it up, but still, it, it works. Now, I also made a failsafe, just in case something happens. Just in case Mr. Beast does some big Uno reverse card, I have a failsafe. If I hit Q, Q on my keyboard, 
it pauses. And I can just manually control it. And if I hit Q again, a few times, it unpauses. So if anything happens, I can just hit Q, it pauses everything, and I can just take control. And to resume its AI stuff, hit Q again, and it's all good to go. So this actually works surprisingly well. I don't know why it works so well. It just does. It's not really like human movement. It's in a straight line, but I added a bit of randomness to it earlier. So hopefully it works well. We have a few hours until the contest, so yeah. Okay, so we're eight minutes in and everything is actually working well. Nothing is breaking. And that's surprising because I am a poo-poo coder. I am garbage coding, but this is actually working, which is nice. You can see the bot is clicking everything. It's doing a good job. I just hope that Mr. Beast doesn't add any scary twists. He tweeted, I think 20 minutes ago, saying that he has a thing to catch cheaters. So I'm kind of nervous about that. I hope he doesn't add like mines or he doesn't change the game rules because my bot is basically hard coded. If he changes the rules, there will be a big problem and I can't change the code anymore. The code is done. I can step in for a few seconds, but the code is fully done. So hopefully he changes nothing. Hopefully everything works well. If it doesn't, I will be very sad. <laughs> Just a quick check-in, it's been half an hour and there are right now less than 600k people playing right now, which is still a lot, but it was a lot more before. And the bot is still doing it like a champ. There is no sign of slowing down. We still have all three lives, so all good to go. It is nine o'clock and it's still running. Like it's been four hours and it's straight up still running. I, I don't know why it's still running. I expected it to fail, but it's, it's still going. <laughs> We're right now top 10,000, 10,000. There used to be a million people. We're top 10,000. So this bot, it's, it's going good. So again, my phone, it's over there. It's powering this entire operation. And you can see it's just, it's running and it's getting everything top 10,000. And I still have all three of my lives. So <laughs> it's going a lot better than I expected. <laughs> Okay, so it's been six hours and nine minutes. Nice. somewhat worried here it's just warning this is not a drill stay focused i don't know 
what's about to happen. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared. We are 3700th place, so who knows what happens. All right, so they added bomb and basically bombs show up and you can't be on that line or you die. Right now, I turned on my manual override, so I have full control. If you notice, I'm not touching it, but it's still click. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, there's a bomb. That's a bomb, that's a bomb. All right, we, we, we good, we good. But that's scary. I wonder how long this will last because I don't want to be here for that much longer. And the numbers are going down. good things must come to an end. I went back and analyzed the footage of how I lost my life and I gotta be honest I feel like it's somewhat unfair how I lost my life. My first two lives I lost because I hit a bomb. Okay so that's that's normal that's the rules you messed up but no I hit the bomb before they were activated. You have five seconds for the bomb to be activated. My bot hit the bomb before the five seconds. So I don't know why it went off. It shouldn't have gone off. All right, but now you might say, okay, just don't hit the bomb in general. But sometimes the bomb spawns right on top of you. Like right in this example right here, bomb spawned right in front of me. There was no way to avoid the bomb. I honestly feel like I kind of got scammed out of my last life. The first two lives, I think that's kind of fair. Okay, I, I kind of had space to move around. But the last life when I couldn't move anywhere, it gets weirder. I gained a life somehow. I dodged a bomb and that gave me a life. I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got a life. I lost that life actually because of a glitch. If you analyze the footage, the bot didn't let go of the mouse. It physically can't let go of the mouse. It's not possible. But as you can see here, there was nothing spawned on top of me. I didn't even move and I just lost life. I have one life left at this point and I also lost that because of a glitch. Uh, pain. So I enabled the bot just to start moving around and then for no reason the game just ended. I feel like we could have won if it wasn't for those pesky glitches. But whatever, we still have Finger on the App 3. And speaking about Finger on the App 3, I'm gonna make an AI based bot for that. So make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss that. So that's basically all I have for this video. But I have a crap ton of plans for this channel. You know how hard it is to wake up, right? So I plan on making a robot that straight up dumps water on my face to wake me up every morning. If that sounds like a lot of fun, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the blah 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 stuff. And yeah, that's all. See ya.